Yo, what is up guys, Surgical Goblin here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'll share, in my opinion, the top 3 meta decks at the moment. And with those 3 decks, I'll try to complete this Grand Challenge live for you guys. As you guys can see right now, I'm 9-0 in the Grand Challenge. So, as I said, I'll try to complete it using 3 different decks. And I would say, let's just hop into the 3 meta decks. So, at number 3, I have this Pekka Royal Ghost uh, Bandit Minor Control deck. Also, Electro Wizard, quite a lot of legendaries. But, in my opinion, this deck is super, super consistent, super fun to play with. And super annoying to play against, just because his deck applies so much pressure, guys. We have the Bandit, we have the Royal Ghost, you can send in minor combinations with the minions. And then we have a really solid defense. Electro is just really good in the current meta. Uh, Pekka is really solid, like against tanks, of course, against giants, against golems, but also against units like a Hulk Rider. Also against the Rest Skulls, it's 7 for 5, but it's actually worth it in most situations. Just because, uh, as I said, it's 7 for 5, but they still need to deal with your Pekka. Then you can support it, for example, with minions. We have the Poison and the Zap. Even though we don't have a lock, we uh, are still not that bad against um, bait decks like Lock Bait. Just because the Royal Ghost has splash damage which gets a lot of value electro wizard gets a lot of value and also bandit can like dash into princesses and stuff like that also the average elixir cost 3.6 elixir is not bad at all so even though sometimes they have for example knight we can maybe out cycle it or for example bait it with a real ghost then punish with a bandit in the other lane so this deck is number three guys and as i said i will play with it later on but let's get into the second deck so at number two i actually have this rascals graveyard deck we do have the rascals it's a really really interesting deck this deck has a super good synergy guys i will get i will go over the synergy with Real quick because we have three cards we can bait the poison with we have the tombstone we have the rascals and we have the graveyard so th those cards they can use the um, the poison on as i said then we have three units the three cards they can use the log on or the zap for example the tombstone if it, the tombstone dies they can zap the skeletons um if we drop spirit goblins defensive or offensive they can use their zap or the lock then the rascal girls die to the lock of course they don't die to the zap so that actually has a really good synergy as i said like if they don't have a lock they have to use the, the poison on the rascals and then they don't have any counter to the graveyard if they do drop a counter we can grave uh, we can poison those so as i said in my opinion this deck is super super consistent super fun deck also to play with rascals are actually really good in my opinion and i actually have them quite high already level 10 but it doesn't matter for a grand challenge of course so at number one i'm pretty sure that you guys will know this deck but this deck is insane guys this deck is a hawk rider through musketeer deck without a collector we do have two spells we actually have a fireball as a big spell and a look as a small spell we have the royal ghost we have the hunter we have the skeletons and the ice golem 3.6 average circles so the same as the um the Pekka and I think let's see what this 3.3 so the graveyard is the cheapest but this one is the same as the Pekka like average elixir cost but this deck cycles super quick guys and it's the same as the Pekka deck with this deck you can apply uh, the same amount of um, pressure I mean just because of the Royal Ghost the Royal Ghost is actually really really good in the grid meta also the Royal Ghost actually one shot the Rescue Girls so I'm not sure if you guys know that I think I uh, mentioned that in my last episode but that's also super key especially in the current meta with the Rescue's upcoming so this deck is just insane guys i'm not sure what hard counts is it to be honest uh just because it's super consistent like even though we don't have a poison some people use the poison instead of the fireball personally i prefer the fireball even though we don't have a poison we're not that weak against for example graveyard decks maybe we can struggle against for example a really heavy golem deck but still we have the hunter we have the three musketeers and as i said we can apply um insane amount of pressure so i would say let's just open the first match i'll start with the number three deck with this pekka bandit royal ghost deck and then i'll try to work my way um up to number one so i'll try to finish it off with this hawk three musketeer deck so i would say let's just open to the first match and i will hope like i will move on to the next deck once i won with this deck so for example if i uh, lose with the pekka deck i will use the pekka deck again and then if i win i will uh, move on to the graveyard deck so let's give them a thumbs up and let's give them the good luck so we started with royal ghost we have minor we have poison we have pekka next card are the minions so usually in this case i would just start off with a royal ghost in the back looks like he goes with an ice golem into the same lane so maybe i should have waited and then with a royal ghost at the bridge in that side but i guess it doesn't really matter let's actually have um a minor going to that side i think the royal ghost will splash most of the goblins over there oh no actually the um, okay so he actually goes with three musketeers i maybe i should have waited for my pack over here but i actually decided to go with a poison so let's see let's go with a bennett into the right side let's see if he supports the left side maybe he will looks like he actually goes with a minor on this side so actually electro wizard the musketeer on the right side we do take some damage on the left side but let's actually go with a royal ghost into the left lane and let's see how is he going to deal with this double lane pressure as I said this deck has an insane amount of pressure guys let's go with a zap for the main horde looks like he doesn't have a minor cycle and look at the royal ghost on the left side guys he still needs to respond to that or that will deal so much damage the royal ghost is actually really really good uh, regarding damage dealer as you guys can see wow the tower goes down to 600 i think no 894 hp didn't get the last swing but that's insane amount of damage guys so we know that he has three musketeers this is actually quite a difficult matchup but in um in this matchup it's key to poison his collectors keep the backup for one lane where you're going to get value and then the other lane we have to make sure we keep the um, electro wizard and the zap for his main horde because otherwise the main horde can definitely be deathly 
So let's see what he drops. We put in the Elixir Collector. We know that he has Three Musketeers, so maybe he will go with Three Musketeers right now. I kind of want to go with a Bennett at the bridge just to keep the pressure. Maybe he will go with something. Looks like he went with his Ice Golem, so he will probably go with a Goblin Gang. So there's his Goblin Gang. I will probably go with Minions over here, but I will let the Goblin Gang lock on, and then the Minions will stay alive. So let's see if he goes with his Three Musketeers or if he will ignore the, um, the Minions. So it looks like he will go with his three musketeers. I'll actually go with my Rogos into the right side lane and then I will try to drop a Pekka. Maybe he will support it even. Then I'll try to drop a Pekka. There you go. Perfect Pekka. Here I will hit the uh, kill the better M and then kill both the musketeers. So that's a really good Pekka. Of, of course, the Pekka will take a lot of damage, maybe even be close to death. But of course, we got seven for um, two musketeers and then the better M as well. So let's go with a miner there. He will maybe go with his mean horde, but we have uh, Zep ready, of course. So there you go. Let's go with the Zep. Let's have the Electro Wizard ready in case he supports it with something. But let's see. Let's go with uh, Roy goes into the right side lane. Let's actually go with a Zep over here just because I want the Bennett to stay alive. And we do need to go with Mace as well. Roy goes will probably take on the, uh, the Goblin. So let's go with a Poison. And the poison will not finish it off, but there will be in Zep range, I believe. So let's see. We do need to defend the, the right side tower, of course. So let's see. The Royal Ghost will probably take down the Musketeer on the right side. Let's go with a Bennett into the right, uh, right side lane. Let's have the Royal Ghost there. Let's actually go with Electro Wizard as well. Just because I don't want the, uh, um, the better room to connect. Let's go with Minions on the left side. I want kind of want to keep the Zep for take down, uh, taking down the tower. Of course, we can also go with a Poison, but maybe he goes with a Mean Horde. So then we can just mean, uh, Poison the Mean Horde. So let's go with a Miner. Let's uh, zap the tower, and I think that will be a good game, guys. Maybe the better one will connect, but it doesn't matter just because the time already ran over. So that's a good game. Let's give him the wall plate, and let's give him a thumbs up as well. So as you guys can see, the first match with the uh, number three deck, the Pekka Minor Control deck, we're able to win. So 10-0 in the Grand Challenge right now, and I would say let's just move on to the second deck. This is the Red Coast Raver deck, what I was talking about a little bit earlier. So I would say let's just hop into the second match, guys. Hopefully we're able to finish off this episode with a 12-0. That will be awesome. So let's give him a thumbs up and let's give him the good luck. So we have Poison, we have Rescals, we have Ice Golem, Graveyard. Next card, Spear Goblin. So let's see what he drops. I can go with Ice Golem, Graveyard if needed. Uh, or just, for example, Poison if he collectors or something like this. But let's see. Looks like he goes with Ice Spirit. Don't really want to drop my Ice Golem yet. So I would say let's just wait and let's see what he drops. But Ice Spirit um, looks like he also has a Royal Ghost. So could be the Hawk 3 Musketeer deck I was talking about earlier. But let's see what he, uh, let's see what else he drops. So let's go with Spear Goblins to the side a little bit later, just because I don't want the Spear Goblins to run into the Royal Ghost. Looks like he has an Ice Spirit Zep um, Royal Ghost, so it could be a minor Pekka deck maybe. But let's see what he drops. Looks like also Electro Wizard. So I'm thinking it's a Pekka deck so far. I mean, Electro Wizard is usually used in Pekka decks. So let's see what he, what else he has. He probably has a minor as well. Maybe he will have uh, something else, but I assume he has a minor. So it looks like he has a better M. Could be something else, but let's go with Rescals to the side. And the Rescals actually, like, two-shot the minions. So it looks like with the poison, he did hit the Rescals, but that means he used the poison, guys. And he also doesn't have minions in cycle. So I'm thinking about just using the Rescal Boy to, uh, like, as a tank for the graveyard. This way, we don't have to wait until more elixir, and we actually can uh, go with a counter push right away. So as you guys can see, he's already giving the angry face. He did use the Zep as well on defense, so he doesn't take too much damage. But still, really good graveyard. Brings down the tower to 1,672 HP. He also says well played, so let's have the Ice Golem ready to kite the Royal Ghost. I'll probably drop it right now. Okay, I think it will kite. There you go, it will kite, so that's good. Let's have the Spear Goblins ready, but I think it's it's uh, not needed. But let's drop them anyways, just to make sure we actually kill the, um, the Royal Ghost. So let's go with the Tombstone over here. He doesn't have the Seven Cycle, so actually the Spear Goblins will go on a counter, uh, counter push. I mean, it's not a lot of damage, but any chip damage I will take. So let's see if he responds to it. Looks like he actually does respond to it. So he has a Zep and he has um, minions. So don't really want to go with a Rascal's uh, Graveyard combination. But actually right now, maybe we can. But let's see. So let's actually have the Rascals ready into the um, into the back. And let's go with a Poison pro or a Graveyard probably soon. Maybe we can bail out his Poison. But let's actually go with a uh, Graveyard right now. And let's go with a Poison. Maybe we can hit M minions and Electro Wizard. Looks like he goes with a Defensive Poison. So this Rascals will get a ton of value, guys. Let's try to protect them from uh, if he drops minions, but let's see. Let's go with the tombstone. Looks like he goes with Royal Ghost, and as I said, Royal Ghost actually one shots the um, the rescue girl, so that's actually really good for him. Let's see. Let's go with Spear Goblins to the side. Let's go with a look over here, and he will probably go with a Zep. But I, I actually cycle back to the tombstone. He also dropped the Ice Spirit at the bridge, so that was actually really good for us. And the skeletons from the tombstone will be able to finish off the barbarians. So so far we're looking pretty good, guys. Do need to watch out with the elixir, but I think so far we're actually fine. Let's go with Rescos, um up high. And let's see what he drops. Maybe he will go with... Looks like he goes with another better M. But I think this better M... Yeah, this better M will actually go for the Tombstone. And we also have Spear Goblins there. We have a Mega Minion there. Looks like we actually countered that really well. Let's go with a Graveyard, knowing that he used the Minions. Let's go with a look for the Electro Wizard, trying to take it down as soon as possible. We also hit the Ice Spirit. And look at the, look at the Rescue Girl, guys. 
Uh, they actually locked on and I think this will be a good game. I don't think he has anything for it. And they actually will take down the tower. No, 47 HP. So the poison will finish off the tower. And let's give him the good game. Let's give him the wall plate. And let's give him a thumbs up. So super awesome episode so far with two different decks and 11 0 right now. Hopefully, as I said, we can finish off the episode with a 12 0. That will be awesome. So we already won with the Pekka control deck. We already won with the Graveyard deck. So now it's turn for the Hope Stream Mask deck, as I said. So I would say let's just hop into the last match. Hopefully, the last match, of course. If we win, it will be the last match. Otherwise, we still need to win another one to complete the grand challenge so let's search for our opponent and let's see what kind of matchup we get okay guys as you guys can see we found a match as i said hopefully this will be the last one but let's give it a thumbs up and let's give it a good luck so we started with hunter fireball roy ghost look next card is the ice golem so let's see what he drops maybe again i will go with a roy ghost in the back but let <clears throat> but let's see what he drops one second i'm sorry guys losing my voice over there but let's see, so it looks like he doesn't drop anything, and I don't really want to wait until double elixir, just because this deck is quite uh, cheap, so I don't really want to, for example, if he has a column deck, looks like he has a prince, so this could be giant, let's go with a hunter in the back, so let's see what he drops, maybe he'll go with a giant in front of it, maybe he will just let it be, but I'll actually go with an ice column in front of the hunter, trying to support it from the prince, so let's go with an ice column right now, looks like he also has a dark prince, so this could be, as I said, giant double prince, let's go with skeletons to the side, hopefully the dark prince will actually look onto the skeleton, Looks like it didn't. Wow, let's actually go with a look. Um, I think the Dark Prince will die, but let's see. So it looks like he has Dark Prince, Double Prince with Spam. He probably also has a Goblin Gang and he probably also has Bats. So this is not the worst matchup, but it's also not the best matchup because we don't really have much against the Double Princes, so we do need to watch out. But let's actually go with a Hawk Rider over here and he will maybe go, oh wow, there's a bad Hawk Rider into the Prince. But let's see. Uh, the Hawk Rider will still be able to get at least two hits, I think. So it looks like yeah, there go two hits. So let's see if he will go with his... Um, Giant over here, let's go with the Ice Golem to the side to kite his Prince. Let's see if it will die, if it does we can go with Skeletons in the middle. So let's go with Skeletons and looks like he has one bet uh, still alive. So it looks like the Prince will go down. I actually need to cycle with the Lock over here just because I don't want to cycle with the Hunter. Let's say he goes with his uh, Giant at the bridge. So let's see, let's go with the Royal Ghost into his Dark Prince. Let's see if he supports it. Again he doesn't, looks like he again doesn't. So let's go with a uh, Hawk Rider over here. Let's go with the Ice Golem, and let's see, okay, looks like he goes with his, um, with his Goblin Gang, I will go with the Hunter to the side, Hunter should be able to finish this off, let's actually go with a look, and let's see if the Hunter will kill the bats, hopefully it will kill the bats, no, it looks like he actually missed, oh wow, it looks like he actually died to the Zap, and we don't really have anything for the Giant right now, forced to go with the Royal Ghost, and unfortunately the Giant will be able to get a ton of damage, maybe even almost take down the tower, Royal Ghost isn't that good on, uh, like, damage DPS wise, so, or it is good on TPS, but not um, like a tank killer, like for example, the Hunter. So let's see, looks like he goes with the Dark Prince, looks like he goes with the second giant. Let's go with the Ice Golem over here. Let's go with, probably go with, um, with a Lock and then try to kill his Dark Prince with the Hunter. So let's see, let's go with the Hunter over here. Let's go with Skeletons for his giant and hopefully the giant will die. Looks like it actually did die. So let's see what we can do right now, guys. Let's go with the Royal Ghost for the right side. He will actually go with a Prince into the left side, predicting uh, our Hawk Rider. But let's actually go with the Hawk Rider into the right side lane. Let's see if he goes, for example, with his pets. I'll actually go with a Fireball over here. Let's see. It looks like we actually did hit his pet. Let's go with a Prediction Lock. Looks like we did hit his Goblin uh, as well. But I don't think we have enough time, guys. Unfortunately, we do take down the tower to uh, 900. But it's not enough. We just have 5 seconds left. So, unfortunately, with the number 1 deck, I actually lost, guys. But let's go with Ice Golem to the side. So, as I said, this is not the best matchup. Just because it's quite hard to defend his pushes. But let's give him a good game. Let's give him a wall plate. And let's give him a thumbs up. So, definitely wall plate on his part. And 11 1 right now, guys. So, as I said, this, this deck is really solid. Unfortunately, we just lost to this matchup. We uh, he had poison sap and then the um, the spam so unfortunately we didn't have anything for the bats as you guys can see just have the ice column death damage or maybe a fireball for example but unfortunately the hunter didn't hit all the bats and it actually brought it into zap range so he was able to zap down my hunter and that um yeah just allowed him like his giant to deal so much damage so 11 won in the grand challenge right now and hopefully we're able to finish it off guys searching for our opponent and let's see when we find a match Okay guys, looks like we're in a match, looks like we're facing Dennis, let's give him a thumbs up and let's give him a good luck, he's spamming wow, but we start off with Skeletons, Hunter, Royal Ghost, Look, next card is the Musketeer, so let's see what he has, uh, like, as a deck. So maybe I will just go with Skeletons in the back, I mean, it doesn't really do anything, but it does allow us to cycle and maybe he will do something right now, so looks like he goes with his Miner, unfortunately Royal Ghost spawns invisible, so his Miner will be able to look on, but let's see what else he has, so the Miner was able to get a little bit of chip damage, but we do have a Royal Ghost on the counter push, so looks like he also has um, a Nightwish, a Night Witch, excuse me. <laughs> So let's see what he drops. Maybe he will go with, um, maybe he has some kind of golem deck. Maybe a sort of also a giant deck. So it looks like he actually does have a golem deck. Let's go with a hook right over here. Let's go with uh, an ice golem to the left side. Looks like he like kills the, tries to kill the um, 
Ogrider with a Mega Man, so that's nice. He can't use his offensive anymore. So let's see, the Hunter is still alive over there. Let's actually go with a look for his Goblin Gang. And let's try to save up for Musketeers. I will ignore the, uh, I will ignore the Mega Man. And let's see what he drops. Maybe he will go, for example, with uh, Poison if he has it. But let's see, let's go with Musketeers right now. Hopefully he doesn't have Lightning. Looks like he has a Poison. So the Poison will be able to finish off the Musketeers. But we spent 9 Elixir. He spent 6 Elixir on like killing the Musketeers. And he spent 8 Elixir on the Golem. And we were able to bring down the Right Tower to 1742. So not bad at all so far, let's see what he drops, maybe he will again go with a golem, it will be difficult to defend in double elixir though, like the golem push with poison zap and then um, with a miner, he can send a miner to the hunter, so that will actually be really difficult, but let's see what he drops, let's go with the royal ghost to keep the pressure up, looks like he goes with his night witch again, I'll go with the hunter to the right side, looks like he dealt more damage to the right side, so I'm not surprised if he for example would miner over here, but let's see, let's, um, I think I will go with a hawk rider over here, let's go with the ice golem, and let's see what he drops. Let's go with a hook rider right now. And we know that they have Goblin Gang, so let's have to look ready. And let's actually throw a prediction look over here. Looks like, unfortunately, he dropped it to the left side. So, well played on his part. Maybe he uh, expected me to do the prediction. But look at the hook rider, guys. Look at the hunter. Maybe we'll do it if he splash the tower. Looks like it actually does. So, that brings down the tower to 324. And actually, I can actually drop a Royal Ghost at the bridge, guys, just because it's invisible. It wouldn't get targeted by the Mega Main, anyways. So, right side tower will definitely go down by the Royal Ghost. Let's go with a hunter over here. Let's go with the ice golem. And let's have the musketeers ready. So, he will go with a, a mean horde actually let's go with a defensive fireball let's um let's have the muskies ready let's go with musketeers right now so let's go with musketeers let's have skeletons for distraction looks like he actually predicted the main horde so what played on his part or predicted the poison so what played on his, uh, on his part but the main horde will still go down let's go with another hunter guys and let's have the ice golem ready for distraction let's go with the ice golem right now let's have probably the royal ghost ready for the right side but i don't think he will go yeah he actually does go he will go with a um, main order over here he will probably go with a miner let's go with the royal ghost i mean it won't take the tower anyways but just in case he somehow uh, brings it down really low so the royal ghost was able to finish off the miner fireball for the main horde and looks like that will be good game so let's give him the good game let's give him the wall plate and let's give him a thumbs up so that was awesome guys unfortunately we did lose once with the uh, number one deck with the uh, hawk three musketeer deck we actually lost against giant double prince but as you guys can see we were still able to beat the golem deck even though golem is quite a difficult matchup we were still able to beat it just because the hunter and the three musketeers are such a good combination because he either for example poisons the hunter or he poisons the musketeer and even when he poisons steps the musketeer they are still able to get so much value just because they are quite uh, like hp wise quite healthy and then the damage like the dps is just insane of the three musketeers so 12 on in the grand challenge right now guys we were able to complete it so i would say let's just get into the chest opening and let's see what we get so we start off of course with some gold that's awesome we get spear goblins we get tesla we get some goblin gang skeletons let's see what else we get zeppies uh boom tower goblin hut skeleton barrel a lot of commons fire spirits like uh, right now five hunters that's awesome hunter is actually quite low so that's really nice um and i'm not sure if we're able to get a legendary right now i don't think so but let's see it looks like we get again um a lot of comments and i think right now we will get some rares and then some epics but let's see what we get guys looks like six uh epics so six dark print that nice and then the next card will be a rare hopefully a nice rare let's see what we get i hope a flying machine but let's see uh, looks like 72 dark goblin so that's actually not bad at all but i already have my dark goblin mech so we do get some extra gold so not the worst chest not the best chest ever i really hope you guys enjoyed this episode once again this is the top three uh, meta decks in my opinion and number three the pekka minor control deck number two the rascal's graveyard deck and number one the hawk three musketeer royal ghost deck hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode if you did make sure to smack the like button if you're not subscribed to my channel yet feel free to subscribe and i will see you in my next videos bye guys <laughs>